All right, so one of my first and foremost, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, Bashim, Rekaku, Dash. Double honors to the positive elders of Great Millstone. I'd like to say Shalom Wah to the elect that Jesus were in our truth and sincerity. And yet today, I just want to tie this lesson. In the midst of trouble, the Lord will deliver us, man. You know, because as you can see, the Lord has shown his left hand power, by the way, through Esau. You know, you know. He, you know, the left hand power have been shown by the way this devil pretty much making this all this type of um, technology, you know, such as airplanes and cars and all this different modern weaponry, you know. So how much more the Lord is going to show his power on the right hand side, you know, during all this trouble, man. You know, matter of fact, let's get some real quick. This is Daniel's. Chapter, uh, Daniel chapter 12 and 1 it said, And at that time shall Michael stand up The great prince was standing for the children of thy people And there shall be a time of trouble Such as never was since Such as never was since there was a nation See Even to that same time See this is a time that can't be rivaled with man. You, you can't compare this time To any time on the planet Earth This is going to outdo 7 AD Hardcore bondage you know, these different things, uh, 9 11, the, the so called Holocaust, and all this. This time that we're coming into, this period of time, it's going to be like no other, man. It says, and at that time, that time, thy people shall be delivered. Everyone that shall be found written in the book, see? So, guess what? And that's, and it said, the one that's written in the book, that's talking about the elect, the one that's written in Yahweh Shai. Lord, Lord willing, I'm part of that righteous number. You know, but the point is said the people is going to be delivered during these times. Meaning what? We have to be in the midst of these things to be delivered. You got to be in trouble. You got to be in some type of distress to be delivered, man. And, and, and another point is that somebody got to be delivered. You know, because we all go, you know, people on it's, it's mass death. You know, people going to die of famine, you know, the pestilence, the sword, you know. That's why the scripture says the people that was made in vain, because they gotta when it's when the scripture talk about the famine, somebody gotta go through that famine or the sword or the wild beast. Somebody gotta go through that. But on the other on the other side, you know, when it's talk about deliverance, somebody gotta go. Somebody gotta be that vessel, man. You know, matter of fact, let's get this in Joel, the fifth child, Joel five and nineteen. It said, He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yeah, in seven there shall no evil touch thee. See, so the Lord's going to deliver us from, these, from this this trouble, all these these different things that's, that's coming in a major way on the planet Earth. You know, the famine, like I said, the famine, the sword, the pestilence, you know. But that seven, that seven trouble or that seven vial when it's being poured out, that seven trumpet, we got to be out of here, which is, that's the destruction, man. You know, he said he shall deliver, uh, it's like it says, he in famine, he shall redeem thee from death. See? Because we actually going to be here. And it's not like we can retreat to a cave and wait to the discretion. No, we actually in the midst of all these things. That's why the Lord says, um, I pray that you keep them in the world, but keep them from the evil. So we in the world, we have to actually, you know, be in the midst of, the, of, the, of these people and everything. But the Lord said, keep us from the evil. See? You know? So if we actually going to be in the midst of all this trouble, man, and, and, and that famine... That's one of the worst deaths, man. You know, uh, uh, because that's that play is pretty much throughout all the scriptures, man. You know, matter of fact, let me get that. Let me get something real quick. That's that's one of the worst ways to die. You know, drowning. That's why the the, the first death was drowning. That's a horrific way to die. You know, famine. That's a horrific because that's a that's a slow death, and, and that fire. You know, those are like the top three ways, worst ways to die, man. You know, so this is uh second uh it's like <laughs> Lamentations four and nine. It said they that be slain with the sword are better than they that be slain with hunger. See? For these pine away stricken through for want of the fruits of the field. See, so pretty much a famine is a slow death, man. A slow and grievous death. You actually got taste buds. You got a taste for chicken wings, but that's the only thing you can taste. Just to think of the taste, you know. Why you slowly, your body slowly eating itself away, man. Well, the Lord's going to deliver us from these things. That's why uh, pretty much, you know, these certain men, the men of the Lord we read throughout the scriptures, go through these things. And we actually be able to read about it and, and read about the latter end. 
You know, because that's the cover. Matter of fact, let's get this in uh, Romans 15 and 4. It said, For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we, oh, see, written aforetime meaning what? The man of old, of really these scriptures as a whole, man. Even in the New Testament with the, um, the apostles, they was getting locked up and all these things. And, and, and guess what? Uh, I think that was uh, Peter. When he got locked up and, and the angel broke him out. But that was written four times for our learning what? So we can apply it. Because we read the latter end. We read not to fold. Because if you don't fold, you continue to believe. You will... You will see the end results. It says that we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, might have hope. See, like, like Daniel's in the lion's den. Daniel was delivered out of the lion's den. You know, uh, uh, all these different uh, situations, scenarios. Matter of fact, let's get something that was written four times since I said something about the famine. Second Kings, Selm, and I'm gonna start at um, three. It says, and there were four leprous men at the entering end of the gate. And they said one to another, why sit we here until we die? It says, if we say we will enter into the city, then the famine is in the city and we shall die there. And if we sit here, we die also, see? Because there was a great famine. It says, now therefore come and let us fall unto the host of the Syrians. If they save us alive, we shall live. And they shall kill us, we shall but die. See? So pretty much, it, they were between a rock and a hard place, man. Either they're going to go and die of the famine, or, you know, pretty much, uh, it's like a flip of a coin being, uh, being delivered into those hands of the Syrians, man. Which, that's how it's going to be in this time. You know, it's going to feel like it's a, it's going to seem like a dead end, man. Just like Egypt, you know, when the Lord pretty much... He lived out of Egypt into the wilderness. You know, it was at the Gulf of Suez and the children of Israel. Like, then the Lord, Lord took us out. It wasn't not enough graves in Egypt, but because it was, it seemed like a dead end. You know, that was a big body of water in front of him. But when you go into it, it said it took an east wind all that night to split the waters. So that's the Lord Yahweh Shem Al Shai in his dramatic fashion. You know, letting us know that we have to be patient and let him do his due, man. You know, so this is it's gonna seem like a dead end. You know, you gonna have truth chasing you. You in, you, in, you know what I mean? In an alley with no way out. And next thing you know, you you might disappear. You know, but you might you might teleport to another side of town, man. This is the thing the Lord is about to do, man. When He lift up that standard, He's gonna lift up a standard, man. Yeah, about see my shot is finna show His right hand in a major way. You know, because that right hand is stronger than that left. You know. Uh, you read about the, the um the, when when Pharaoh when he uh pretty much and his magicians dropped down their staffs it was two staffs and uh and, and Moses he dropped down his staff that one as you can you read that when that staff when them staffs became serpents that one serpent that Moses um dropped pretty much it uh it swallowed both of the other serpents up so it lets you know the right hand is stronger than the left man. You know, so let's continue on. Second Kings seven um, and five. It says, and they rose up in the twilight <laughs> uh, to go unto the camp of the Syrians. And when they were come to the uttermost part of the camp of Syria, behold, there was no man there, for the Lord had made the host of the Syrians to hear a noise of chariots and the noise of horses, even the great noise of a host. And they said one to another, Lo. The king of Israel have hired against us the kings of the Hittites, and the king and the kings of the Egyptians to come up upon us. See, so the Lord pretty much he he he, he pretty much uh, he just made them to hear this man. You know, different. Yeah, you know I mean, so 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 they fled away. It says, wherefore they arose and fled in the twilight and left their tents and their horses and their ass. Even the camp as it was and fled for their life. See, and that's what's gonna happen to these people, man. <clears throat> Matter of fact, because um you gonna have these these preppers and hey man, the Lord's gonna set up what these people they've been prepping, they doing it for the elect, man. Love one part of that righteous number, you know? These people they've been prepping and doing anything, it's gonna have it's gonna be something to cause the people to leave their houses, whether it be by the troops. 
uh, uh, they they getting drafted or they just been killed off, you know. They probably ain't at the house when all hell broke loose, man. This is the these are the different scenarios the Lord's gonna set up for for his uh for his uh elect, man. It says it says and when these lepers came to the uttermost part of the camp, they went into one tent and did eat and drink. See, and man, what well, we're gonna stumble upon these mansions. You know, we're gonna eat choice meat, we wanna eat uh good we're gonna be drinking good wine, you know. It says, and carried then silver and gold and raiment, and went and hid it and came again and entered into another tent and carried this also and and they went and hid it. See? See, cause this is this this is oh yeah, how about you? This is what the Lord is gonna do, man. Hey man, you might you might have the only house on the block with lights on, man, with power in your house. On the outside, it might look like ain't no power. But once you go in the house, you see the AC running, whatever. Hey, man, the Lord's about to do something marvelous, man, in these times, man. You know, he's finna, he's finna reveal himself in a major way, man. You know? So, um, that, that was pretty much the point. Um, let's go back to Joel 5. Let's go back to Joel 5 and uh, 20 again. It says, in famine, he shall redeem thee from death. And then walk from the power of the sword. See? Meaning with Esau ultimately, you know, this devil and his troops. And just you even getting a, a damn draft letter saying you've been drafted, you're going to even be delivered from that, man. And let's just say you do get a letter. Well, guess what? These devils ain't going to find you. Whatever the case may be, man, we're going to be delivered from these things. It says, um, thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue, meaning these different laws. Neither shall thou be afraid of destruction when it comes. See? Because... Hey, because if we finna come to some very heavy times, this is not finna be a cakewalk. You know, that's why the Lord always said, uh, uh, let, let not your heart be troubled, don't be afraid. You know, because we come into some very stressful times, man. You know? And that's why we got the peace, the comforter. The comforter, because we come to some very intense times, man. It's, it's not like, oh, we're going to, because we actually going to be saved by the skin of our teeth, man. You know? It's not like, Let's just say you go to the guillotine and you were destined to be delivered from the guillotine. It's not like you you walking up, then you disappear. No. When you walk up, your head already in the in the, you know what I mean, set up, and then the blade drop, and right before it hit the back of your neck, you know what I mean? Then you disappear, man. That's how uh scarce we're gonna be saved, man. And ultimately, even from the from the ultimate discretion, you know, from no missiles, man, we're gonna be scarcely saved, man. You know, it says, it says, uh, at destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. See? Because we're going to have a, hey, we're going to have a heavy spirit on us in that day. The Lord actually going to feed us and we're going to, we're going to actually going to be have, we actually going to be in that day, man. We're going to eat well in that day. We probably eat better than we do now. You know what I mean? It says, at destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh, neither shalt thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth and yeah and that's the thing that's just not uh only geared towards lions and bears these different zoo animals that's gonna be let loose but also these newly created creatures man because <clears throat> you know that that's gonna come out you know these creatures they got the filthy sense and said they shoot the sparks of their eyes you know you got a simple nigga watching pokemon and not, not knowing is a real pokemon out here man you know, we at, we want to be delivered from these things, man. You know, it says, For thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field, and the beasts of the field shall be at peace with thee, see? Because when you see that Pokemon, he's not going he, to he's not gonna attack you. You know, it says, And thou shalt know that thy tabernacle shall be in peace, and, and thou shalt visit thy habitation, and shall not sin, see? And what's that tabernacle of peace? That's the house of David, man. You know, but the Lord, he's going to deliver us from these things. That right hand is going to be made manifest in a major way, man. He already did it with Esau on the left-hand side. So how much more on the right-hand side, man? You know, so matter of fact, I'm going to get this in Isaiah 65. Isaiah 65. And uh, I'm going to start at 13. It says, Therefore, thus said the Lord, power, and behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. See? Because, hey, that famine, that's going to be, a lot of death is coming 
through that famine, man. That's one of the major plays in the scriptures, man. You know, it says, Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall thir be thirsty. See, if you're going to, you know, get clean water, because it's not like it's going to be running water in this day, man. These devils going to, these devils going to put the clean on everything, man. You know? He's definitely put clowns on everything. Yeah, and just water. And like I said, we're going to be drinking good wine. We stumbled upon these different mansions. They Old wine from 1864, man. This is the time we're coming into. You know? It says, Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. See? Why? Because we're going to be rejoicing because the Lord is going to show himself unto us. You know, it, 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 Scripture said, Then shall I know who am I chosen. We're going to be rejoicing when the Lord deliver us from these things. You know, we're going to be praising you how about you, man. Shine, man. It said, Behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart. See? But ye shall cry for sorrow of heart and howl and shall howl for vexation of spirit. See? And that's what's going to happen. These people, be they're going to be groaning and moaning and howling. Here, a nigga, they, they stomach talking to them. You know? This is the time we're coming into. You know? It's vessels that are set that are already set up to, to, to die, you know, suffer from it. Because the scripture says the people made in vain, you know, that's the ones that are going to die of famine. The, the sword, the pestilence, the wild beasts. But the scripture also says the ones that's going to be delivered. Somebody got to be that, man. Somebody got to fulfill that role, man. The scripture's got to be fulfilled on all levels, man. You know, and love wasn't part of that righteous knowledge. Oh, you know, the sin to sell, you know. Who who heart who really believe in Yahweh by Shemel Shah, you know, we the ones, man. Lord will, man. To 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 uh, be delivered, man, from all these things and in that ultimately the discretion, man. You know. So yeah, I can I just hope they were edifying. I wanna give all praise and glory to Yahweh by Shemel Shah, by Shem Kakodash. Double honor to the positive of the great millstone, son of one, to the elect that sees we're in our true fame of charity, DTA, a Bible ball.